Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can pull crypto market prices from Yahoo Finance and also do calculations on that information to determine the percentage of the total market cap they make up, aka their, their, their coin dominance percentages. And so to start with, I'm going to pull the data into Power Query. So I've got a, a page here on Yahoo Finance that has a top top cryptos by market cap. So it's not a comprehensive list. It doesn't have every single uh, possible cryptocurrency out there, but the process would be the same if you've got another link that has um, uh, a, a larger list. So back in Excel, I'm going to go to the data tab and select the button here for importing data from a web page. And I'm going to paste that link from Yahoo Finance into here and just hit okay. And now what Power Query is going to do is connect to that web page and detect any tables that it finds on there to see which ones I could potentially use to import it. So the first one's a document. I'm not interested in that. If I go to table zero, you know, this is just the, the current change. Table one resembles that, that table that I was looking for. We've got the market cap. We've got the uh, top cryptos. Now I could load this into Excel, but there's, there's one thing I'm going to, adjust before I do that because this market cap contains a letter uh, B for billions at the end so I'm going to adjust it first so I'm going to hit transform data and that's going to open up the power query editor and now I can make changes before actually loading it into Excel and so there's one main transformation I'm going to do and that's to parse out that 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 letter B because all, all these cryptos have market caps uh, of over a billion so there's a b in them so if i select this and i go to the transform tab there's an option to extract the text before a delimiter so in this case my delimiter is the letter b i basically want to grab everything before that so it's not a terribly complex um a parsing exercise here so i've got that so now i've got the b's gone and now what I'm going to do is convert this into a decimal number. Because right now, it's still reading as text. We've got these ABCs here telling us that's a text. So I need it to be in a number before I can do any calculations. So I've converted it into decimal numbers. And so we've got that in there. So that, so that is good to go. I'm going to hit close and load to put this into Excel. And I'm still not done with Power Query, but for now, I just want to load it in here to, to get it ready to... And to make sure that everything is looking correct. And so we've got that number in there. Now, what I'm also going to do is create another really small table just for the overall crypto market cap. So on that, on that table for Yahoo Finance, it did not have the total cryptocurrency market cap. But if you go to another website such as CoinGecko or, or CoinMarketCap, you know, you'll get the, the total global cryptocurrency market cap, which right now is $1.81 So I'm going to say... I'm going to create a header here called market cap and just type in 1810. So because we've got data here in billions, I'm doing the same thing here. So 1810 would be the same as saying 1.8 trillion. Now, what I'm also going to do is get this data into Power Query. So just to create that connection, and this time I'm going to select the option from table or range. So I've got this range and Excel is going to automatically detect it. I have headers, hit OK, and now it's going to load this into Power Query. And so by, by getting into Power Query, now I can make a, a really easy um, computation. I can reference it on here. And so I can right click, rename this, and say market cap. And then I can rename this as well while I'm at it. Let's see, Yahoo Finance. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new column. And this one's going to be to calculate my, my dominance percentage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this market cap and divide it by this total market cap to arrive at a percentage. So I'm going to hit the Add Column button here and select Custom Column. And so in the Custom Column calculation, now what I can do is do my calculation. And let's call this Dominance. So what I want to start with here is selecting my, my market cap that I've got from this table, the Yahoo Finance table. And now I'm going to divide this 
by the market cap table that I created there. So to reference that, I'm gonna type in market cap, and then I've got a field in there also called the market cap without spaces. And because I want to reference the first row, there's only there's only one row, in curly brackets, I'm going to put in the number zero. And so that's going to reference that first row in there. So I'm going to hit OK. And see, I've got these de these values now, now in, uh, in decimals. I'm going to click on ABC123, which tells me it's alphanumeric, and convert it into a percentage. And so now we've got that percentage dominance based on those, those market caps. So now I can hit close and load and put this back into Excel. So now it's going to load this with those calculations in there. So it's going to, by, by default, it's going to load the, the, the market cap one as its own. So I don't need this. So I'm going to right click, delete this. And it's just going to leave it as a connection only, which is fine. Because really all I want is this one table here, which now has that dominance percentage in there, convert this into a percentage. So we can double check that this looks correct. So at, at the top, we've got um, we've got Bitcoin, right? So it's got a, a market cap of 885 billion. So if we take this 885 billion and then divide it by 1810, you know, we've got that 48.9%. So that is calculating correctly. So but by setting this this market cap, this total uh, crypto market cap as its own table, it makes it easy to, to update this if need be. So, you know, if in the future you need to change this to a different number, just update it on here. And then you can just go to the data tab, click on refresh all, and all, all these calculations will, will update. These dominance percentages will update. It'll pull the, the latest data from, from Yahoo Finance for that uh, top top crypto page so it'll make it easy to update so if you want to track you know what the what the top cryptocurrencies are in terms of market cap that's how you can do that so the yahoo finance page will pull it into here and then you know you just manually update this market cap uh for for all crypto and again this is in 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 billions so 1810 is 1 1.8 trillion and then it'll, and then Power Query will calculate this percentage, this dominance percentage for you, um, right in here. Obviously, you could do it manually, but with Power Query, you can you can take take advantage of the fact that it's it's basically like a macro recorder, so it's recording your steps, and uh, makes it easy to update, so that way you don't have to really do anything. So in the future, all you would do is update this market cap, right click, refresh, or or just hit refresh all. And it's going to pull in that data, update those percentages for you, and so you don't have to worry about um, doing that yourself. Again, the one drawback is that you know it doesn't have every cryptocurrency on here, but the process would be the same if you've got another page that you can pull um, a more comprehensive list from. Um, let me know in the comments if you do know of a, of a place that has you know a, a larger a larger list to pull from i know there are other ones but they're not um, not table based in the sense that they can pull into power query you may need an api or or some custom connection for that case but with yahoo finance at least you're getting the top uh 30 or so cryptocurrencies on here so you'll be able to at least get the the, the largest more more prominent cryptos out there so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching